digital transformation of operations is the most critical issue facing large, enterprise-class manufacturing organizations. The legacy approach that has been used for decades has never really worked well, and as technology advances, the continued use of those legacy technologies and paradigms brings companies consistently closer to catastrophic system failure. In this series of videos, we're going to introduce you to a different way of thinking, a new paradigm called the Manufacturing Data Hub that uses a standard ontology as the focal point of transformation. This approach uniquely solves the four most critical problems that cause failure in digital transformation for manufacturers. To take full advantage of the advances in modern software and DevOps technology, digital transformation of MOM and MES needs to start with a fully defined ontology. Companies that start from a clean slate and attempt to create their own ontology are likely to encounter the problems that they always have, even if they are using modern technology. Ontology is about common language. An ontology defines the entire knowledge base in a given domain. The important thing about ontology is that it is complete. It contains everything and every concept in the domain. To be successful in MES and MOM transformation, we need to define the language of manufacturing operations. To do that, we need a way to represent the things or entities that make up the domain and the relationships that exist between them. A graph has nodes and so it allows us to represent what is contained in our ontology. Things like people or materials or equipment, but also concepts like process steps or deviations. A graph also has edges between the nodes that we use to represent a connection or a relationship between the entities. What differentiates a knowledge graph from a basic graph is that the edges have labels or properties that add context to the relationship between the entities. Those labels allow us to describe multiple relationships between the same two entities, which means that every possible relationship in the domain can be modeled. So, if you have a graph that contains every entity, and every possible relationship in a domain, you have an ontology represented by a knowledge graph. This concept is the core principle of what we call a manufacturing data hub. A manufacturing data hub is more than just the knowledge graph and the ontology that it contains. But for this series of videos, we'll focus on the most important concept, which is how an ontological approach to MES and MOM greatly increases your chances for success in large-scale digital transformation for manufacturing operations. At RISE, decades of experience in the domain of manufacturing operations has led us to the conclusion that there are four distinct problems that manufacturers face when they approach digital transformation with legacy systems and commercial off-the-shelf MES products. These problems are insurmountable with legacy technology and antiquated architectures but they are uniquely solved with the RISE Manufacturing Ontology, which is a standardized ontological approach built on a knowledge graph. For purposes of explaining the solution, we need to establish the typical baseline that we encounter in manufacturing. Because it's common in the industry, we'll use the electronic batch record as the use case that we're digitally transforming. If EBR doesn't apply to you, just substitute the systems that make up your most important use case, genealogy, track and trace, or maybe production order management. Most operations have some unique combination of MES and MOM applications with some level of interoperability. As we step through this, you'll probably see something that resembles your current architecture. For some, this is the start state. The applications are in place, but there's no integration. Every application has a data model defined within its own siloed database. In this first configuration, the MES probably produces the batch instruction, and it's likely manually controlled at each step within the progression, and critical control points are being managed via human interaction and signed off at every step. The batch record is quite often defined within its own database and is also connected to each of the applications to acquire the necessary data for the report. 
frequently the first and sometimes only integration is between the MES and the PLC or DCS, automating the push of process parameters and set points to the control system. Sometimes the next phase is integrating the MES with the ERP, allowing for production order management and backflushing of material consumption and other actual data. Test data may be loaded from the limbs, or equipment calibration information from the CMMS, and occasionally time series data is pulled from the historian in either a raw or aggregated format. In legacy systems, this is always a point-to-point -point architecture, and the connections between the systems attempt to contextualize the data in a way that translate it for its siloed data model. There is no common language, and so architects struggle to make applications communicate with other applications, even if they are manipulating the same equipment or process. This is one of the primary reasons that commercial off-the-shelf MES and MOM applications are hard to deploy and even harder to maintain. You may argue that what we're looking at is an ontology, because the systems together contain all the information needed for operations. It's true that any given silo in this image could be an ontology for its own knowledge domain, like equipment maintenance in a CMMS, but it's unlikely that all the silos together define the ontology of the operations domain. The language of manufacturing operations is much broader than any one of these silos and requires a definition that is the sum of the ontologies represented in this image. The manufacturing data hub doesn't need to replace any of the individual data models. Rather, it acts as sort of the Rosetta Stone, providing a translation into the common language that all consumers of the data and events understand. This image depicts the RISE manufacturing ontology, and we present it in this video to demonstrate that the language of manufacturing operations is finite and does not need to be recreated by every manufacturer. The RISE manufacturing ontology is based on ISC 95 and contains every entity and every relationship in the standard. It took hundreds of brilliant minds, many man hours, to define the ISA 95 standard that's represented in this ontology. What they created is sufficient for nearly all manufacturing except for continuous process. The only valid reason to not use an ontology based on ISA 95 is that you believe that the authors of the standard got it all wrong. We haven't encountered a use case in manufacturing that couldn't be solved within the bounds of the RISE manufacturing ontology. You can think of the RISE manufacturing ontology as a paint by number. What you paint first, or what color key you use, or how much you paint in each session is up to you. And it should be defined by the requirements of your individual use cases. Ultimately, it provides a container for you to build your data model within. And if you find yourself thinking you need to extend beyond the guardrails provided by the ontology, it probably means you should re-examine your use case requirements. In the next video, we'll show you how the data hub approach overcomes the most common problem in digital transformation, data modeling and governance.